I was at the Browns game, Browns Niners. I did Browns radio yesterday. Um, without Debo, don't know how long or what his yeah. deal is. Without McCaffrey, same thing. It was an oblique. I don't know if they saw it on the Fox broadcast, but he at one point he had the massage gun working on that side there, and then he came back in, and then he tapped back out again. Um, all the Brock Purdy doubters, and yesterday he faced an amazing defense. I'm, they've given up 1,000 yards in five games, which is absurd. Um, insane. Insane. A great defense had a day. But now those who want to doubt Brock Purdy, I'm not one of them, will be able to see whether or not they have a leg to stand on. I, I, I don't think they will. I think Purdy will be just fine. But you take away some of these weapons, Chris, they were the only team of the NFL not to have an, uh, not, a, not a pro bowler, but an all pro at wide receiver, tight end, and at running back. Now they only have one right now at tight end. Yeah. So I think, you know, like, like any quarterback, you're the beneficiary of the context around you or you're, or you're going to struggle because things are not set up well around you. Like there's very few quarterbacks in the league. I think there's just one that can win in any weather. And I mean that like, you know, with Rasheed Rice out there with, with who knows, you know, like Patrick Mahomes can get it done. But most guys need some sort of um, structure. And this kid's used to having a lot of structure. I also think he's like, and, you know, I hate doing this because people will argue with you no matter. I've tried to compliment Brock Purdy and people have gotten mad at me when I, I say he's it. a fringe fringe top 10 guy. Like, I'm, I'm saying like, hey, you could be eight, you could be 12. I don't do the rankings things, but he's not in that like top four to five for me. But he's somewhere in that in that second tier of guys, and they're not growing him on trees. So this is not a slight. I think he's a really good player, and the thing I like about him is he makes plays off schedule. He can exist in the in the confines of the offense and be a point guard, but he can go score too. You know, a point guard who can distribute the ball and create. And I thought yesterday was his worst game as a pro. Okay, not a huge shock. But if you take advantage of those opportunities, um, you know, the the missed kicks, you know, after the Fred Warner pick, you miss a kick. You know, we talked about missing Debo or not Debo. We talked about, bless you, my producers are having a a sneezing fest back here. But um, (laughs) I think I business owner, man, that's what you got to go. Exactly. Everybody's sneezing. It's like tough. Uh, But but missing uh, Ayuk missing McCaffrey. Uh, those are your opportunities. And then the game gets tight and the weather changes. I'm not making excuses for the kid. That's a really good defense. They manned him up. They said, hey, Jim came out of the half and said, you know, hey, wet ball. The wind's blowing a little bit. You can see it on Wisnowski's little sleeves. Mm-hmm. You know, like it was not an ideal situation. So in the same vein, I don't want to be overreactive. Now, Brock is entitled to one of these. Like every other quarterback. You know, uh, but he's going to have to win some of these, right, Uh, to prove that he's in that elite category. And this is what you're expected to do. Uh, And you can't always be Christians healthy. you got to learn to to win without him because if history tells you anything, he's going to be down for a game or two. And Debo plays physical. He's not always going to be out there. Um, You have to figure out how to win left-handed sometimes. And I thought something that really hurt them was Dre Greenlaw's absence. Yeah. There were multiple plays down the stretch of that game that I think Dre Greenlaw makes, like the fourth and four, uh, the pick in the end zone, which I think, you know, like maybe, um, or the free runner sack that Burks had. I mean, these are all little things that when you're not 100% healthy, the the next man up has to win. And for Brock Purdy, I only saw him struggle once last year. I think it was Seattle primetime on the road. And they were the better team. You know, they, they, they outlasted them, but... I haven't seen a hiccup like that since uh, Seattle, and he's entitled to it. I think they'll be fine, but they got to stay healthy. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 